Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to link widgets in the CQG desktop platform. So first, I would suggest opening up a new page, and from here, I'm just going to add a couple widgets. For my example, I'll be adding a quote board. I'll add a dome chart, or the hot hybrid order ticket in CQG desktop's case. And I'll also add a trading widget. So now I'm going to import a couple different symbols here. I have no reasoning for choosing the symbols that I did. I'm just choosing them out of mere randomness. Now that we have all our widgets up and running, we're ready to go and begin the tutorial. And like I said before, this tutorial will be about linking widgets. Now linking widgets turns out to be very useful. By clicking on a contract in the quote board, all associated widgets linked to the quote board will universally change their correlated contracts to the one we selected in the quote board originally. This may sound confusing in theory, but let me show you how simple and useful this feature is. It's worth mentioning that all of the widgets in this platform can be linked, not just the ones I've shown you. I've shown these, chose these widgets because they do work well in conjunction with one another, but you're not limited to linking just these widgets. I would suggest though, always linking widgets to a quote board. That way you can change the contracts you'd like to select on the fly. So now I'll show you how to link the widgets themselves. So to link any of the widgets on your screen, head to the top of your widget and to the right of the name, you'll see a blank circle. If we hover over that circle, you'll see the option to link widgets. And if we click on that, we have an array of different colors that we can select. You need to choose the same color throughout all the widgets you'd like to link together. So for my first widget, I'll choose the blue circle. Now, if we head over to my dome, I'll also change the blue circle. And finally, my trade widget, I'll also change it to a blue circle. Just because a circle is filled with a color does not mean these widgets have been linked. To link the widgets, as I mentioned before, they must be the same color. So now that all my wid widgets are linked, I'll show you how this feature works. So let's say, for example, in my quote board, I want to select the Euro Forex contract. If we click on this contract, you'll notice that my dome chart and my trade chart both trade to this contract, and that is because they're linked. If I click on the Japanese yen, once again, my trade widget changes to the Japanese yen, and so does my dom. And finally, the E-mini, as you can see with the simple click, both my widgets change at the same time. This is very useful when you have multiple widgets running up at the same time and you have multiple contracts you're trading with. You can really mix and match which widgets you'd like to link and with which contracts you'd like to link them to. Although this may be one of the most simple features of the platform, I find it to be one of the most useful. It can really help traders minimize time spent searching for contracts and widgets and increase overall efficiency and the fluidity of the platform. I would really suggest that all traders use the linking feature in the CQG desktop platform. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.